Hello there, my beautiful people. Two things before we get started about my rambling day. Random ramble, whatever. <laughs> I hate this hubba bubba. It hurt my teeth. But I got such a huge bag. I'm not buying no more until this is gone. So two things. I hope my sound is okay. I have no idea what happened the last time with my sound. Like, it's set up the same exact way. So I don't understand what the problem was. So I hope it ain't no trouble. Two, I got my dryer running. Whatever. Actually, I got a lot of things. Anyway, um, another thing. I don't whisper, okay? So either you take it or leave it. That's why I switched from ASMR whisper to eating videos. Because I'm like, I don't like to whisper. It hurts my vocal cords, okay? It hurts. No, it's just annoying to me. I don't whisper. I like to be loud. So this is what you get. Join me for the gum chewing. That's all I'm here for. I'm going to give you gum chewing. And that's all you get from me. If you want me to whisper, you gotta go somewhere else for that. Because that's not what I'm doing here. Okay? So save all them comments about you ain't whispering, you need to quiet down. That's not what I'm doing here, okay? And one last thing that I need to address. I forgot your name. If I knew it right now, I would say it. But somebody in the comments in my last video told me my I'm, I've become sloppy. First of all, whatever about this whole whatever, <laughs> but said my hair was a mess. Please, somebody let me know how. There have been times where, you know, I got on here, my hair just everywhere. I know that, whatever. But now I'm at the point where I'm just dealing with what grows out of my head and how it is. And that's just what it is that's how this is how my hair grows out of my head what do you want me to do with it like that's why african-american women struggle so much with accepting their own hair that's why they straighten in it so much weaves everything don't get me wrong i love to straighten my hair i wish i could get a relaxer right now but i'm trying to love my hair myself if you love weaves and everything whatever just take care of your hair underneath but I don't appreciate the person that said my hair was a mess because this is literally the way that it grows out of my hair. So I would refrain you from saying like that about black people. If I don't know if you black, white, whatever, who cares? But I don't have to alter my hair because you think that it's not acceptable. And that's what's wrong with a, a, a lot that's going on, on in the world today. Like they want us to straighten our hair for what this is the way my hair grows out of my head and i appreciate the girl that commented to that comment because i was about to go in and go crazy but she came in and and and, and, and saved the day so i didn't have to trip and talk about the girl's mama or the boy's mama or whoever mama because that's all i'm gonna do <laughs> but oh, i forgot my earrings oh well like i'm literally learning to love my hair the way it comes out my head without altering it too much you know what i'm saying so that's a process as it is for many other women but whatever anyway on to something else so it is hot in here child what did the, 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 the thermometer i can't even get out the thermometer says 82 degrees up in here i have my windows cracked because I've been seeing bugs come through. First of all, at night time, lightning bugs get through my window because when I had um, cable, it was coming through the window for some reason. It was some dumb stuff that Spectrum did. Took the cable and put it through the under the um, freaking screen. And it's the same way upstairs, so I barely open my windows because bugs get in. Lightning bugs come in every night. I gotta close that window. Upstairs, stupid. It was this bug. I've been seeing bugs that I've never seen in my life. Like, are these new bugs? Where do these bugs come from? I just don't understand. But anyway, besides all that, 
besides all of that i am so tired of living in a townhouse like i'm ready to own my own house are there any homeowners out in the crowd is it you is it you are you are you a homeowner are you a homeowner you you i'm just i don't have like six inspections in the last month i'm so tired of people coming in my place it's ridiculous but what can you say when you're a renter you know what i'm saying no you can't come in my place uh you don't own this property honey they can come in here whenever they want to i think they sold our property to somebody else or something because they had like a banking inspe bank inspection i don't know but i am so over i'm like i'm tired of people coming up in here and get up out my place up out of my space and they're probably like she trifling she got stuff everywhere i ain't trifling but i do got stuff everywhere but it's because my ebay stuff is everywhere and i need a designated room like i told y'all before and i don't have that right now but eventually but i think i'm gonna go on the hunt for another i mean for a house i don't know oh and another thing my car is set tripping like okay so my handle broke a while ago right i took my friend my man somewhere we went somewhere to a bad side of town for something i forgot no it wasn't drugs no <laughs> it was some store or something and there was change left on the seat like fell out of the pocket or something so i think somebody was trying to jimmy my handle to get inside the car and they did couldn't get in but they broke my handle trying to do it and so ever since then i have to um have my son open it or have to reach through the back seat and open it so i can get in so i've been doing that for a while then just recently like within the last week my door has been saying door ajar not closed the light's sealing up here but it's closed so i don't know what the sensor's doing i don't know what's going on with that and then just this last that happened like two weeks ago then just this week my clicker my clicker picker stopped working so it unlocks i mean it locks but it doesn't unlock so if i lock my doors i can't get in my car at all so i literally have to leave the window cracked open so i can reach my long arm and open it and open the door i mean i could leave my doors unlocked which i kind of do because i just took everything out that i care about but if I lock my doors and got my windows up, there's absolutely no way for me to get in my car right now. No way. I can't open the trunk and climb through the seat, nothing. Like, this is so annoying. I call up to get um, a handle replaced and fixed, but I have to wait seven to 10 business days for it to come in for them to replace it. So I'm just struggling out here, y'all. I'm just struggling. Like, Bessie, she runs smooth. I mean, she get a little loud on the highway, but she runs smooth for the most part. I mean, the back passenger window don't open, but me and my son can do with three windows. We is just fine with three windows. <laughs> I mean, I don't want no car payment, but I think it's about time to break down. Do you guys lease or do you own your car? Like, I'm thinking about leasing because I know leasing will be cheaper and I have a newer me a newer car and if something happens i can always take it back to get fixed you know what i'm saying so i'm really thinking about doing that instead of until i can like buy one outright like i want to take 20 g's and just drop it off you know what i'm saying i don't want to have to um like say for instance i buy a car 2016-17 car and then it's cool run running smooth whatever and then something happened then i gotta get it fixed while i'm still making the payment on my freaking car you know what i'm saying i don't want to do all that i don't want to do all that so i'm really thinking about leasing something here soon i don't know look why i'm rocking girl why is you rocking why i'm rocking girl why is you rocking why i'm rocking girl why is you rocking i ain't singing something in a long time <laughs> anyway what do i do today i went to the thrift store i need to do a haul i haven't done a haul in forever but i was at the thrift store and i didn't get anything i had a couple things to sell but mostly everything i got was for me and my life i'm like 
not and my wife i said and my life okay l-i-f-e did y'all catch that great <laughs> yeah but like i found some white converse in my size which I'm, i gotta scrub and see if they come clean i put them in the washer they didn't come clean but it only looks like dirt on there so i'm gonna try really really hard to get that on um i got the beautiful dress i got my son brand new roller skates i looked at the roller skates they go for eighty dollars like they haven't even been rolled on they haven't even been rolled on yet all right how could i leave those behind found some amazing bed sheets like you know how much bed sheets cost in the stove like don't say i'm trifling because i'm not i washed them okay y'all say that when y'all go to the hotels and you sleeping on bed sheets that 20 million people done slept on no you don't so don't talk about me getting my bed sheets from the thrift store great quality great thread, <laughs> thread count and they for the low low okay <laughs> what else did i care i'm trying to think i might have so much stuff today i weighed myself and she said 50 dollars. i said 50 dollars hold on hold on let me let me recalculate so I went and was like, put a bunch of stuff back. Came back and it was like forty dollars. I haven't spent that much. In, that's my first time. I've been shopping there for a year and a half. That's my first time spending forty dollars at that Goodwill. But that's only probably because of the skates and the sheets. I'm trying to think what else I got. Oh, this dress was heavy too. This dress is like at least two pounds. Like, but it's a beautiful dress. Oh, and, I, and I got another pair of Converse that I thought my son could fit, but he can't. They took the size out, and I was just eyeballing it, but it wasn't that much, though. But I found some decent stuff, but I got to focus on things to sell, okay? Not things to... <laughs> for my life. Ridiculous. But anyway, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this here. I think I'll, yeah, I'll let, I'll let you guys go. I know you guys like these gum chewing Rambo videos. I wonder if people would watch me on my other channel <laughs> doing um like thrifting videos. Like if I strap a camera to my chest, <laughs> would you watch me thrift at the thrift store? Like I wonder how interesting that would be. But I'll have to buy a camera first because I don't have one. I need like a GoPro to like go to my chest. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna um catch you guys later. Anyway, um remember to smile because you're beautiful. And remember to love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, why would anyone else? Until next time, guys. Bye. <laughs>